Radiothrift.com, your number one source for riff news and things that don't suck. The most exciting part about our game is how open-ended the class system is. There are so many possible options you can make in our game. I, I love being able to say, I want this, and I want that, and I want to mix it together. And that's that's exactly what we're doing. The class system in Rift is all about the Ascended and their Ascended powers. The Ascended are Talarans who passed during the Great Shade War. They've returned to Talara now from the Soul Stream to fight back the forces of Iglis and save Talara from the planar invasion. One of the powers is the ability to have soul attuned, or to attune their souls to other heroes of Talara's past. When a character first enters the world, they choose a calling. A calling comes in four basic types. They were either a warrior, rogue, a mage, or a cleric. This defines the skills they have, their general play style, and the types of souls that they can attune to. A soul defines what a class is in essence. It defines its abilities, it defines what talents it has access to, and how you actually spend your points in that soul defines how you are going to play as a play. Every player will start with a single soul, that is the calling that they represented in their former life um, as they level. As they adventure throughout the game, they gain levels and they'll unlock additional souls they can then equip. Affinity is a term we use to explain how in tune or how much spiritual attunement a player has or the Ascended has with a given soul. The higher the affinity level or the souls level, the more abilities they have unlocked, the more options they have to customize their character. Players get to customize their characters by a soul tree system, which gives them access to a variety of abilities and bonuses that we call traits that allow them to customize their character in a lot of different ways. Each soul tree is split into two parts. There's the roots and the branches. The branches are where you spend your points, and as you spend your points, that will also automatically unlock abilities down in the roots. Uh, the roots are the core abilities that each soul gains, so that as players spend more points in the soul tree, they'll gain these defined abilities. Players can have up to three souls equipped at any given time. Depending on their level, they will unlock more souls and more soul slots as they uh, progress within the game. Players will be given a number of opportunities to obtain souls in the game. First by questing or even just plain old adventuring, killing monsters or other player versus player combat. The way that we're going to reward souls in the game will give players the opportunity to get the souls they most desire first and then collect the rest of them as sort of a mini game. One of the great things about our game is that we never lock a player into a single choice. There are so many souls to collect within its calling that at any given time, a player can dump a single soul and choose a different soul and have a new gameplay experience. Take the Nightblade, for example. They excel at close combat and they're very sneaky, but they don't have a lot of ways to take care of people that try to get away from them. By picking up the Ranger Soul and learning a little bit out of their soul tree, I gain access to powerful ranged attacks that allows me to kind of take care of those people that are trying to get away from me because I don't want them to get away. I'm a Nightblade, I'm all about killing things. One of the really cool things about our class system is how you can actually mix up the points. The way you spend your points will be completely different to the person standing next to you, and that's going to be something that is going to be ongoing and people will be able to change around for years to come. A lot of games go, this is your box. You can play within your box, there's lots of room. However, we give players a lot of different boxes that they can choose to combine and put together in different ways, giving them a lot more options than most games allow. I really like the system. I think it's awesome. It's like having your cake and eating it too. I get to have a really cool class in its own right, and then I get to choose really cool things from other classes as well. It's really exciting.